Getting where you need to go is becoming more high tech than ever. In a handful of cities around the country, you can already get into a robo taxi with no driver. And testing for these so called autonomous vehicles right on public roads is expanding fast. What does that mean for your safety? Spotlight on America investigates. The future is here. Driverless vehicles on America's roads, picking up passengers in robo taxis and delivering goods in autonomous trucks. What was once science fiction is now a reality. Autonomous Vehicle Industry Association Executive Director Jeff Ferris says half of U.S. states have now passed laws welcoming autonomous vehicles. Truly driverless vehicles with no human observer are already operating in California, Nevada, Arizona, and Texas. We also know test vehicles are on the roads with backup human drivers in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Arkansas. And limited testing is also taking place in undisclosed locations, possibly where you live. How safe really are these vehicles that they're being tested on the public roads? What we know from more than 70 million autonomous miles being driven on public roads is that autonomous vehicles are far safer than human driven vehicles. Farah calls the technology a game changer for safety. He cites several studies, including one by robo-taxi company Waymo, that reported an 85% reduction in injury crashes compared to human drivers. He also sent us multiple videos showing autonomous vehicles avoiding crashes. When you look at what's causing vehicle crashes in this country, it is overwhelmingly human error. It is things like fatigue, texting while driving, driving while impaired. Autonomous vehicles don't suffer from any of these things. But safety experts say that's not the full picture. It has the potential to be safe, but what we're seeing is a lot of loose ends. Phil Koopman is an international safety expert on autonomous vehicles, now a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. His research extends nearly 30 years. A frequent critic of the industry's safety claims, he calls them misleading. Most of those 70 million miles had a safety driver. So if something goes wrong, there was a person to stop the bad thing from happening. The number of miles without a safety driver to intervene is much less. Spotlight on America asked the AV Industry Association how many of those miles were driven without a human backup driver. But a spokesperson told us they didn't have that breakdown. I got a, a, a unmanned vehicle that was kind of taken off from me. Um, it's a Waymo car. Several recent high profile incidents have raised concerns. Your car here drove into oncoming lanes of traffic. Phoenix police body cam video shows a traffic stop in June after a Waymo robo taxi was spotted driving the wrong way in a construction zone. It blew the intersection here. Through the red light. Yeah. No one was injured there, but a pedestrian was seriously injured in an accident involving a GM cruise robo taxi in San Francisco last October. A woman was thrown in front of the vehicle from another collision. The cruise stopped momentarily, but then continued on, dragging the woman for 20 feet. What are the limitations of this technology when on the roads? It has no intelligence. It, it doesn't think like a person. It just is trained, and when it hits something it hasn't been trained on, it just guesses, and sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. Farah points out that humans are often wrong too, and insists the industry is making safety a priority. So this industry is very committed to rolling this out incrementally and, and safely, and so that's the top priority as we bring this to life. With such relatively new technology, safety advocates say caution is needed as companies scale up and put more of these driverless vehicles on the roads. Right now, there are no federal safety regulations for autonomous vehicles. It's up to each state as to how strict the rules are for them on the roads. For Spotlight on America, I'm Angie Moreski.